those dress ups, no matter what weekend, in a tuxedo. Super Pip is an OG. Super Pip, man, he got a mustache, you feel me? What do you got? What do you got? What are you guys talking about, Super Pip? Super Pip! He's probably here right now. I'm he assuming is. he is. You know Super Pip? I do know Super Pip. Super Pip! I got a picture of them. Beautiful hair, beautiful suits, and he is Super Pip. And a nice dash. Nice dash. Welcome to Bomb Squad Radio. It's your host, Callie Miles, and I am joined in the studio tonight with the party people of Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I've got my girl Lolo in the building. What's up, what's up, what's up? And the man, Super Pimp. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, pimping ain't easy. And I just got, <laughs> I just got lipstick on my microphone already, so. I really believe that Super Pimp was a phoenix that arose out of a really bad time in my life. And I turned that around. And when I turned it around, part of me that came out was the super pimp image. I was just going out and being me, and people noticed me for me and started to ask me for pictures and asked me who I was and just found me interesting. But rather than me explain it, that's my website and my Facebook Kip and, and I need <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get it for you. Hold on. Hold on. Well, uh, pimp means to promote, and what I pimp is the good life, good family, good friends, and good times. <laughs> hey. hey. Pimping ain't easy. Pimping ain't easy. <laughs> you, you know why pimping ain't easy? Why? Because you guys are here. Damn. <laughs> no, he kind of likes to go up to people and make them feel good and be like, uh, like one time I was like, hey, uh, man, uh, Velvet Dog is kind of popping right now. He's like, hey, that's because me and you are here right now, buddy. Hey. And this guy does it to the fullest, and that's why I have like the most mad respect for him. If you don't know another single person in the club, and you see Super Pimp walk in, like a lot, you know what I mean? People will recognize him, yeah. and, they'll, and they'll feel like, like they're at home and they can let loose and have fun. Every night is different, every night is exciting. Some people stay at home and watch TV. I come out and live that life. Some people can't be original because they're afraid of other people judging them, but they admire the fact that I have the testicular fortitude to be original. I did read sure. he has not. Hold on, you have not had to wait in line since the 60s. <laughs> He's a local celebrity. Everyone knows him, but then again, doesn't know him at the same time. Even though he's older, he's still is a rock star. Right here, West 6th Street, at St. Clair, beautiful downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Come a little bit later, this place is gonna be hot. <laughs> you feel it already. Fresh water? There you go. That's a good one. I don't know what it's good for. I ain't got a job. Sucks up my heat, my air conditioning. <laughs> I'll pay no rent. So I could do that for a living. Hmm. I don't normally eat breakfast myself. Uh, my daughter's coming home pretty soon and uh, she's going to go to work a little later on. Hello? Yeah. Uh, and I typically cook her meals for her. And because she's, number one, she's lazy, she's a teenage girl, and the other thing is that she's working, and if it wasn't up to me to, to get her some food, she'd, uh, she'd starve to death, so. Not pretty. Good. Ooh, that's a good girl. Last night I had the opportunity to meet your new boyfriend, and uh, what, what did he have to say after, after he left here? Oh, he just said that you're really nice, and he hopes you, you like him. How long you know him now? Uh, well, actually, I met him when I was still dating Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, but you didn't really have any designs on him at that time, right? Mm, maybe a little. <laughs> well, you know, my favorite joke about girls is that... Uh, why are women like baseball coaches? I don't know why. Because they always got somebody warming up in a bullpen waiting for you to strike out. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, it's all crazy to me. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know how to explain it. It's always just. It's. This is always how it's been. So I don't. It's nothing new. And uh, yeah, my friends mostly know my dad already. They, if they don't, they'll be like, "Oh, is your dad a pimp?" Like, <laughs> uh, well, not exactly. But when I was in school, I'd have to tell him not to wear his suits, like to parent meetings and stuff. It's not that kind of thing. Don't wear a suit. This is the downstairs suit closet. One, one of three. See, there's different varieties of uh, suits. Magic coat, the red passion, pink panther, the snake skin, the sunshine, the Cleveland brown suit, Miami vice, teal temptation, slick silver. As the people started asking me to come to their weddings, to come to their uh, bar mitzvahs, to their birthday parties and anniversaries, they wanted me to bring my energy to that party. So now I get paid uh, to go to these things. I have a meeting today with one of the distributors of the new Playboy Energy drink. I'm sure there's some type of uh, representing the product or uh, helping them distribute it. But I never know from day to day who's going to give me a call or what different aspect of my my new dream, my new career is actually going to take. I've lived all over the country and all over the world. People say, well, you know, because of how you are, you ought to be in Las Vegas or Los Angeles. But no, I, I've lived in those places. The biggest asset that Cleveland has is its people. I personally want to bring to the forefront the beauty of Cleveland, the beauty of the people, what Cleveland really does have to offer. The suits, the smile, the eye contact, the love, his energy, that is what makes him who he is. Pimpin' ain't easy.